Okay, welcome back. Uh, this is another quick update on the Chevy Bolt EV 2017 with the B. Um, just wanted to uh, show you guys something you might have not known about. But first quick update. Looks like I got 133 miles in the tank. I've driven 22,830 and I have, let's see... I'm sorry, I have 133 left in the tank and I got 137 I've driven so far. So, doing pretty good. Still better than the 238. But on to some crazy news. Um, I got an update from uh, YouTube. They said, um, in order for me to continue to uh, enjoy the privileges or the benefits of uh, posting videos, I need to have a thousand subscribers. Um, or uh, and uh, four thousand hours of uh, of uh, content, view content, or something like that. I got the time. That's not a big deal, but I just don't have the subscribers. So if you can help me out, send this video or send my videos to some friends, have them subscribe. You know all that good stuff. That way I can continue to uh, benefit from having fun making these wonderful YouTube videos. Um, but on to some uh, something really interesting. Uh, you, we all know auto, uh, the Android Auto Play, um, and they have the Apple Play. Um, not sure if Series can do this, but I know the Android Auto Play does. Um, you know how sometimes when you're when you're driving, and uh, you get bored, you know, or you know you want to listen to your favorite song or something. Any, you know, you want you need something, something to help you out because you know we use it. We all use this car as a commuter car. Well, I know I do. Do about eighty miles a day, um, round trip back and forth to work, and some you know here and there odds and ends, running some errands you know for the wife and all that good stuff. But just want to let you know, you can actually talk to Google through your car. Two options. One. Press and hold this button here, you get the beep, and then you say what you want to the Google Assistant, or you can actually reach over and press this button. Or, if you're really slick, you can actually say the normal Google phrase, I don't want to say it because um, it'll cause everybody's phone or uh, tablet or Google Home to trigger. So, you know, is that okay, Google? You know, you know what I'm talking about. So, just want to let you see something. So... Um, I found something really interesting that I really, really wanted to share with you guys. First, I just want to let you know that uh, you can actually do this. Watch this. Open Pandora and play Smooth Jazz. Sure, here's your Pandora station called Smooth Jazz. I don't want to turn it up too loud just because copyright infringement. So, but let's see. Is it turn into it? Let's see. Oh, there it is. All right. So next thing, you know, so you can actually tell Google, play a favorite, your favorite radio station. You can also say, you can either press here and hold. I'm bored. Tell me a joke. One joke. Coming up, I have a pet tree. It's kind of like having a pet dog, but the bark is quieter. Yeah, she's kind of corny, but she's funny, though, sometimes, you know. Sometimes, you know, I like for her to sing a song or tell me a riddle or something like that, but sometimes she, she, got, she can fool you. She, she can throw a little trick at you. Let's see. Tell me a joke. This might make you laugh. How do billboards talk? They use sign language. Yeah, sign language. Yeah, that was kind of funny. Um, let's see here. You know what, Google? I can beatbox, you know. I wonder if she can rap. Let's see. Let's see if she can rap. See if we can make a little song real quick. Let's see. Can you rap? I can rhyme. I even have an original poem I've been working on. An ode to search. I love to search. I cannot lie. I'll search it all. I am not shy. Search for pictures. Search for pie. I search. I search. At least I try. Oh, well, that was not bad. Not bad. She can't rap, but she, hey, she can rhyme. Hey, she, she got some skills. 
And sometimes, you know, if you're feeling the, you know, the bilingual or, you know, uh, you know, multiple, if you can speak multiple language, so can Google, actually. Um, say, for example, you, you wanted to know how to say apples in Spanish or, you know, let's see what she says. Well, actually, let's ask her first if she can speak Spanish. Can you speak Spanish? Yes, I speak Spanish. Uh-oh. We might have some fun. Let's see what else she can do. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's ask her how to say apples in Spanish. What's the Spanish word for apples? Manzana? Manzanas. Oh, she got it right. She got it right. Okay, okay. Okay. So... Let's see, what else can we do with Google? Let's see here. Let's ask her, uh, oh, you know what? They say you want to be real slick. Let's see. Let's see if she knows this. Let's say, uh, what's the name of the movie where the guy said, hasta la vista, baby? Sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> she didn't get that one. Okay, well, that's fine. But like I said, it's a lot of entertainment, a lot of fun. You can actually play with this while you're driving. Um, Google has a lot of games and a lot of... Uh, she can actually tell you the news. That's another cool thing. Check this out. Hey, watch this. Give me the latest news. Here's the latest news. By the way, you can control the news by saying skip or stop the news. So if you're interested in what's going on in the, the world today, you know, as you're driving, you can just kick back, listen to the news while you're heading into the office or heading home from the office. So let's see what's on the news today. Let's see what she's talking about. Let's see. Come on. Might be my internet connection because I'm close to the house. I'm sitting outside the, uh, the driveway. But no big deal. She'll eventually play. And she'll tell me all about the news. All and other border protections. Uh -oh. Says Molly Henneberg, Democrats don't like the plan. I forgot to turn it up, Sam. The idea of a wall, so. Uh, which I thought was a great idea in the 15th century when China built the Great Wall. There you go. It actually tells you the news. You can actually skip the news and go to the next section of news or whatever they want to talk about. Um, so there's a lot of cool things about this card that's really entertaining. Um, oh, another trick. Hey, did you guys know this? If you download the Waze app, it's a uh, uh, like a Google Map type thing where you can, uh, for navigation, instead of using Google Maps, you can actually use Waze. And this will give you your turn-by-turn -turn direction as well as gives you a little bit more information about you know where police are so if you're speeding you know you can actually um <laughs> uh let's see here let me see if i can get back to it you can it'll actually tell you what cops are if cars are you know have an accident uh you know traffic report um let's see i think it's this one there we go you can tell you about where police is traffic crashes um main issues hazards red light cameras which is really important. Um, maybe not for me, but, you know, because I don't drive that fast. But I drive fast, but not, you know, over the speed limit, like kind of crazy. But, you know, for all those speeders, hey, there you go. This thing will tell you about the traffic cams that are in your area. So you can actually use this. You can actually put in your navigation, and then Google will hand it off to Waze. So let's see here. Give me the directions to McDonald's. Okay, handing off to Waze. No, I don't eat at McDonald's. Well, I kind of like their Big Macs and fish fillets. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just an example I'm showing you. So, so let's go to McDonald's. Boom, gives you turn-by-turn -turn navigation, just like Google Maps to McDonald's <laughs> or wherever you're trying to go to. So, like I said, 
Um, if you guys can help me out, if you like it, subscribe, share it with all your friends, let them know to subscribe because I would like to definitely, definitely continue to make these videos. These are super fun. I have a bunch of other ones. I have one where I want to do a uh, comparison with the uh, co-worker of mine. He's a longtime owner of Tesla. He has the Model 3 as well as the Model X and uh, just want to do a comparison. I've never seen a car that never had buttons. Um, I just, I'm used to buttons. I like buttons. I'm just not really used to the full screen with no buttons. I mean, literally it's, everything is in the screen, which is, is kind of cool if you like, you know, being on the latest and greatest, you know, edge of technology where you have no buttons. Um, but I, I like the buttons. I like the buttons. I like to have everything at my fingertips. I like to have a heads up display, which there's this over here. I don't know if I can get really get used to driving and then looking over here for the uh, speed limit. So it's a slick car, but I definitely want to do, I can't wait to do the uh, the interview with them and um, just to get a feel, a drive and do a, you know, a comparison. Yes, it's a pretty car, but you know, I, I, I like, I like the Chevy Bolt. I'm really, really digging it for the price, for everything it offers me and uh hasn't let me down yet and so far like i said i haven't gotten 238 um and if you're wondering what this is this is just a um a uh what, what do you call those things um camera uh dashboard cam you know i just use it every now and then because it's a lot of crazy drivers in the morning but like i said um definitely help me out by uh sharing this video liking it thumbs up subscribing um, I have over 500,000 views from all my videos. I'm a small time guy, um, but I still like to make these videos because they're a lot of fun. And uh, I love to get you guys' feedback and to see what you think and, you know, all that good stuff. But definitely, definitely uh, share it, like it, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you again. This is another Chevy Bolt EV Secrets 2017. Well, this is 2018, but I got a 2017 car. So, But I'm out. Thanks for watching.